How's everybody doing? Good Thursday evening, everyone. It is Eric Wilhelm here with Weather for Weather Geeks, the, the video that's geared towards weather enthusiasts and weather nerds and geeks, and also those who just need a lot of detail in their in their weather forecasts. We don't have any big weather systems heading our way over the next uh, few days, no major impacts, but we do have some wind to talk about Friday, and we've got some cooler weather coming for the upcoming weekend, and we probably have not seen our last snowflakes of the uh, season. We'll probably see a few here and there over the next five or six days. It's not snowflakes, but it's raindrops that we've seen pretty frequently so far in April. Now, the amounts have not been crazy high, at least at the airport. It's been pretty modest. In fact, still running a little bit below average. <clears throat> but we've had frequent bouts of precipitation, including this morning. In fact, I'll be honest, the rain lasted a little longer this morning than I thought it would. It lingered until mid-morning in parts of the area, and then things did turn around pretty nicely. For this afternoon, I've got a lot of comments about eh, it's nice when it warms up, but it does, does it always have to come with rain? And yeah, we've had kind of a, an unsettled, soggy start to spring. And when we think about long term averages and recent trends, this isn't really all that surprising. Of course, last year uh, we got a new set of 30 year averages. Our weather averages, rain, snow, temperatures, are all based on 30 year chunks. And every 10 years, we get a new chunk of 30-year data. So our averages used to be based on 1981 to 2010, starting last spring. They're now based on 1991 to 2020. And in a lot of our months, we saw an increase in average precipitation uh, compared to the previous 30-year period. And this includes all winter and early spring, including the months of March and April. Now, interestingly, late spring and early summer through July has gotten a little bit drier than it used to be. And then uh, we see an uptick in precipitation in those new averages as we go into late summer and into the fall. But yeah, early to mid spring is a wetter time of the year than it used to be. Uh, and, you know, uh, this is something that we've seen frequently in the springtime of late. Pretty frequent wet weather. All right, so a gloomy start to the day, but things turned around this afternoon in a big way. The rain pushed away, the clouds thinned, and then within a couple of hours, it just turned severe clear. I mean, deep blue skies out there this afternoon. It was a gorgeous second half of the afternoon and early evening. As I told you about yesterday, we, we saw a pretty good temperature dip this morning a couple of hours after sunrise. It was still very mild at sunrise this morning, but then our front came through. The temperature went from 61 to 50 at the airport all the way down to 47 at 11 a.m. But then as the sun broke through, strong mid-April sun did us a lot of favors this afternoon. We approached 60 in most locations before the afternoon was through. Not the 74 that we had yesterday, but still very nice. What a great evening to get outside. You need a light jacket, sure, but you know, it's looking more and more like spring. We're seeing more scenes like this, like in Columbiana, with things starting to bloom and blossom, and the and the grass is getting green. In fact, I've seen some people mowing of late. My grass will definitely need to be mowed, it looks like, uh, during the uh, upcoming week. So yeah, spring is doing its thing, even though we've had kind of a frustrating go of it with the frequent precipitation and at times pretty chilly weather so far this spring season. All right, the uh, wet weather that we had last night and this morning is way off to the east now. There are a few radar echoes trying to show up this evening out across northwest Ohio. Just about all of this is not reaching the ground. It's a little mid-level moisture. I'm expecting a mostly clear sky for the balance of the uh, night tonight. At least we don't live in the upper Midwest. We're underneath a pesky area of low pressure. We have snow showers this evening across a good chunk of Minnesota, Wisconsin, the Upper Peninsula of Michigan as well. All right, tomorrow our big weather story is going to be the wind as we get into the afternoon. Now, in the morning, the wind won't be much of an issue. It'll turn generally breezy as we head towards midday. And by the end of the afternoon, yeah, some 40, perhaps even 45 mile per hour gusts could be found across the area. Well mixed atmosphere will pull down some wind energy from aloft with a lot of mixing motion in the atmosphere um, with a lot of sunshine, at least for the first half of the day. So a pretty good recipe for some strong winds. So batten down the hatches uh, tomorrow afternoon. It'll be a windy go of it. Clouds will increase in the afternoon. Now, I think this wet weather is going to stay off to our north tomorrow. If uh, you happen to be heading up to Cleveland to the Guardians home opener tomorrow evening at Progressive Field in downtown Cleveland, a shower, a sprinkle is going to be a possibility. Uh, the wind will not be as much of an issue in the evening as it will have been earlier in the day. I doubt it's enough rain to cause a delay or some sort of postponement. 
but a little wet weather will be a possibility. Here across the Mahoning and Shenango Valley, I'm expecting wet weather to increase in coverage as we go through the overnight. So by the wee hours of Saturday morning, it'll be raining lately in most of our area. And these uh, showers will stick around, it looks like, through about midday. I think much like today, Saturday afternoon's improvement will be fairly fast. From north to south, we'll see the sky clearing. But unlike today, temperatures will struggle a little bit more, only up into the lower and middle 50s on Saturday. And if you are heading off to early morning services on Easter Sunday, I'm not going to be shocked if you encounter a stray snow flurry here and there with a little bit of a northerly flow off the lakes and temperatures near 30 at the start of the day Sunday. A flurry will be possible for the rest of Easter Sunday. It should turn out to be mostly sunny, but temperatures, yeah, not very not very warm for Easter egg hunts Sunday afternoon. 52 Saturday, only 48 Sunday. That's a good dozen degrees cooler than the average, and I think it'll be even cooler at times early next week. So we bottom out probably Tuesday with temperatures maybe 15 degrees cooler than average, and with some moisture in the area both Monday and Tuesday, I guess I would not be surprised at all if we had a couple of snowflakes mixed in with rain showers, especially early Monday and again early Tuesday. It just looks kind of gnarly, kind of raw and chilly first half of the week, but we will start to turn things around towards the second half of the week. I told you last evening on Weather for Weather Geeks that uh, the following weekend, next weekend, would be warmer, and that trend will probably continue for at least a handful of days during that last 10 days of April. At the very end of April, and especially into early May, it may turn a little bit cooler than average once again. But I think we'll have a pretty decent stretch coming up, starting very late next week and taking us into that following week. That'll do it for me tonight. Thanks for watching Weather for Weather Geeks. Another reminder, because I'm doing this a whole week, I, I started a new Facebook page this week since I lost access, my fault, uh, to uh, to my old page. I clicked on something I shouldn't have and have not been able to get Facebook to help me out. So I started a new page this week. If you're not following me there yet, be sure and do that. Uh, search for Chief Meteorologist Eric Wilhelm or uh, Eric Wilhelm WFMJ on Facebook. You'll find the page there. I appreciate everyone following me there and on the rest of my social media. And have a great rest of your Thursday night.